you know, I always talk about rugby eliciting every emotion possible and you as a player and, a, and as a human, that tour but epitomised that for me. When I reflect on that tour, I went through such a difficult period and such, you know, contrasting emotions. It gives me great pleasure the 2013 British and Irish Lions touring party. Jamie Roberts. I actually missed the announcement. We were training. I remember coming in off the pitch and I was like, oh, Jamie, you made it. And, and again, it wasn't any less special. Like, it's incredible, you know, a chance to go on back-to-back -to -back tours. Obviously, first day today, went up, getting all our kit fitted. Obviously, the players get released back to their clubs who are still involved in matches. And about everyone else who goes to the Vale, up in Wales, train for a week before we uh, fly to Hong Kong. We played the Barbarians, a uh, bit of a warm-up game, crazy game. I had to have four spells of 20 minutes because of the heat and humidity in Hong Kong, <laughs> which is something I've never done. But again, so special. You know, the last time I'd worn that Lions jersey was at Loftus, four years earlier, and you're taking the jersey off your back, thinking, well, you know, this could be the last time I wear this shit. It is a journey that every home union player wants to be on, and the privileged few are about to borrow those jerseys to make their own. History. So to, to get to put it on again, you know, we, we won quite convincingly against the Barbars, and that was special. It felt kind of iconic to play that match because you know the Barbars have very, very rarely through history played against the Lions, and felt quite special to play in that one. You know, you're, you're back on the journey again. You're back on tour. You, you're just completely engrossed in in what the Lions is all about. I actually played less games on that tour than, than I did in 09, certainly the games leading up to the test matches. Um, and I missed the first two tests. Got injured in that, in that Waratahs game and I, I thought my tour was over. And the Lions are on the attack again with Farrell and Jamie Roberts. Bent down to pick the ball up and, and just felt my hamstring tear. Straight to I knew straight away. It was brutal and the first thing I thought of, weirdly enough, was watching Rob Howley on the physio bed in 97. And that guy in the dressing room on the physio bed whose tour had come to an end because of injury. Fast forward 20 minutes, I'm that guy on the physio bed. I'm, I'm in absolute pieces because I'm convinced my tour's done. A couple of meetings the next day and um, I, just, I just remember Prav and Gats just sitting me down and saying, look, we're, we're going to do everything in our power. You know, the next three weeks for me were icing every two hours. I kind of see through the night without, without fail, you know, compression, massage, ice, repeat. I think he has a small chance of making the rest of the tour, but we'll see in a couple of days' time. You know, the test matches happened. I remember I sat in the stadium in Brisbane, first test, and a game that went right down to the wire. Bill, oh, he slipped! It's not there! It is a Lions moment! You know, got 23 lads there who were as high as anything, you know, getting to experience that, and... You know, the other half of the lads sat there in the stand, including myself, just desperate to be a part of it. Introducing on stage, special guest for tonight, the flying doctor, Mr. Jamie Roberts! Obviously, it took a few hours out of my schedule the Friday night in Melbourne, had a second test to play with the Manage Street Preachers on stage, which was pretty cool. And so I took the approach of, of not telling anyone. I, I didn't want to even ask management or ask the physio if I could go and do it because I was only giving them a reason to say no. So I just went and did it and thought, you know what, I'll deal with any consequences later. No strain on the hamstring, just stand on stage, pretend to play the guitar. To this day I'm convinced they unplugged the lead. Um, and I just, yeah, I just got to enjoy that kind of euphoria for five minutes, really. I'm on holiday at the moment. How has it, how has I haven't this, played in a couple of weeks. How has this all-inclusive break been for you? Yeah, it's been wonderful. <laughs> food, food, hotel stays all provided. Um, and just watch the games in good seats at the moment, so, uh, yeah. Cammy's coming good. I'd spoken to Gats uh, and, and Rob Howley, and, you know, they were confident in my fitness, um, and they named the side. Big challenge for us on Saturday, but it's a challenge of character as well. It's going to be a team for third test. 
The team is Corbusero, Hibbard, Jones, Roberts, Davies, Bo and Halfpenny. You know, I was sat next to John Davis on the bus. You know, I think John, unfortunately, wore the 13 jersey, so you know, Brian was synonymous with that shirt, and he took a lot of flag for, <laughs> for coming into the side, whereas I kind of came under the radar. And he, I, I don't think Warren even was expecting that, that kind of press backlash, you know, there's a lot of lot of hype. You know, he felt he had to pick, pick the best side possible to beat Australia on that day. And what I knew for sure is that I had a huge responsibility after being picked. We just give it all, all for each other tonight. It's, it's about doing what you can for your mate next to you and, uh, and just giving it your all. Because if you don't, you're doing thousands of rugby players back home a huge injustice. The Sydney Stadium sold out um, the side and test match. It's what you dream of playing. Years of hope that now come down to this one day. Watch big games now. It's only when I watch big games on the telly, I feel so privileged to have played in that match. From the first kickoff, you know, Australia dropped the kickoff, and you know we scored from the following sequence of play, and just uh, such a big moment in the game gave us such confidence. It's back with Phillips. Should have sneaked a try just before half time. I think James O'Connor went over. And it was, you know, it was in the balance. But second half, we just blew them off the park. It was just a magical, magical half of rugby. George Dahl, and George Dahl scores! Murray to Jamie Roberts. Oh, Roberts is going through now! I, I talk about that try. The amount of times I have run that line and got absolutely snapped in half by defence. <laughs> in that moment, on the biggest stage of all, for it to open up and kind of beautiful flat pass, um, just felt like fate, it was just weird. You know, went over and, and everything just went silent. I kind of, kind of compare it to um, jumping under water. And then it's like someone on an amp just turning it right back up, crowd just going out, so stand up, lads are jumping on the back. And, just one of those moments in your life that you know, I'll probably never get a chance again to, to repeat that sort of moment. It's done, it's dusted, archive it. You know, I think that was the last part I played in the game. I think I came off a few minutes later and I get to enjoy the last 10 minutes um, watching, you know, watching the end of the game and that was a special, special 10 minutes with the, with the lads on the side of the pitch. Having endured the pain of 2009, um, and the disappointment of 2009 to then have the high of 2013 was just so special. Just from 1 to 37, it's not just the players, it's the backroom staff, it's the, it's the sea of red as we like to call it here. It's a very special day in Lions history today. Just an amazing contrast in emotions, you know, Daniel Craig in the change room after and we're popping champagne and uh, just incredible to go from you know, the ultimate low really in sport to, to the ultimate high.